Have you ever wondered how we describe the movements of our body parts? When a body part moves, it can either rotate like a spinning wheel or move in a straight line. For rotating movements, we talk about it going either clockwise or counterclockwise. But in the realm of anatomy, we use a more specific language. We use terms like flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, medial rotation, and lateral rotation to describe these motions. Think of flexion and extension as bending and straightening. These movements happen around the same axis but in opposite directions. It's like the way your elbow bends when you lift a cup of coffee and straightens when you put it back down. Now, consider abduction and adduction. These terms describe movements that involve sidestepping either away or toward the body's midline. Imagine spreading your arms wide in a star jump. That's abduction. When you bring your arms back to your sides, you're performing adduction. And then, there's medial and lateral rotation. These are opposite turns around a vertical axis. Medial rotation is like turning inward toward the midline while lateral rotation turns outward. Think of a ballet dancer pirouetting. If the dancer spins inward, that's medial rotation. If they spin outward, that's lateral rotation. The range a body part can move in a rotational sense is called its range of motion, or ROM for short. This is measured in degrees with a tool called a goniometer. If something completes a full circle, it's moved through 360 degrees. For straight line movements, we talk about the linear distance it covers. The unit for this is the same as length units. Whole body movements, like the six minute walk test, measure how far you can go in a straight line. The speed of these movements is velocity. And if the speed changes, it's called acceleration. Tools like an electrogoniometer or three-dimensional motion analysis help track these changes over time, creating graphs to show not just the angle or rotation, but also the direction of motion. To sum things up, our bodies move in complex ways and we use terms like flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, medial rotation, and lateral rotation to describe these movements. The range of motion, linear distance, velocity, and acceleration are all crucial components in understanding these movements. Tools like goniometers, electrogoniometers, and three-dimensional motion analysis help us measure and track these movements over time. So, next time you lift a cup of coffee, spread your arms wide or watch a ballet dancer pirouette, you'll have a deeper understanding of the movements involved. And remember, if you have any more specific questions or need further clarification, feel free to ask.